Are you tired of getting your publishing account into trouble or terminated just because you can't properly check for trademark or you don't know how to go about it? No worries. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the simplest way to correctly check for trademark. If this is your first time on my channel, you're welcome. I'm Value Bank and all I do every day is to bring to you time-tested proven methods and ways you can use to gain financial freedom here on the online space through vehicles like Amazon KDP, sales and marketing and content creation. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you for liking my videos and supporting my channel. Without wasting much time, let's get started. Now, one of the major issues people have actually been facing on Amazon KDP or anything publishing is trademark issues. One real issue that really terminates people's account is trademark. Uh, some people don't really know how to properly check for trademark when they've gotten their title that they want to write about. And that is something that you must really know how to do to check if the title or the book you want to write is trademark so that you can actually be free of troubles you don't want to publish a book today and tomorrow that book is selling and you are can't get terminated because the word or the title you actually use was trademarked and you didn't actually care to check for it there is a lot of people who actually make this mistake and there's there is a lot of people who don't know how to really check for trademark and the only way we can actually get this video to them is to make sure that we give this video a thumbs up make sure you like this video and subscribe to this youtube channel and make sure you actually drop a comment in whatever you want me to maybe do a video on drop a comment in on the comment so section below so if you've gotten your title for example you go, you went to amazon or any publishing platform that you use in publishing your books and you've gotten a title to write about the proper and the correct thing for you to do is to make sure that you check for that title if it is trademarked or not if you have gotten a profitable title and you say okay this is the title i want to write about i want to write a book on this topic the next thing for you to do is to make sure that that word that title that phrase or whatever you want to use is not trademarked you understand so you come to amazon for example we see a book like the seven habits of highly effective people and we check for this uh, we looked at this title and this title has the all the checklist that should be a profitable topic you understand so the next thing you need to do is we can open this in another tab you get ledgers allowed to load open it in another tab so when you open it in another tab you copy this title make sure you copy this title okay you copy the title and you go you go to this website called trademarkia.uspto.com now when you just search it on google it will actually pop up then click on the link it will take you to this site you understand now you put your title here the search for you understand the character or for the mark just put your title here then this filter change it to search by all you get so this uh, filter must be on search by all then there is one thing you need to understand as a publisher or someone that is publishing on amazon kdp in this trademark site there are different classes that products are being actually uh, uh, registered on you understand and the one that really affects us the one that we we should be interested in is uh books and goods and services that are registered under a certain class you understand so you just have to go to this website legal zoom slash article trademark classes 
you understand to know the class you need to watch out for when you want to check for your trademark you understand so these are the classes that products goods and services and products are being registered on so we have class one chemicals it's not related to what we are actually dealing with books you understand we have class five lubricant so the three most important classes that we need to actually watch out for if any of our title or whatever we actually want to do a book on is trademarked under those classes you should avoid them don't do a book on that class you understand don't do a book on that title so number one is class nine for example now this is not related to like a printable book for example that you want to uh, create a book and maybe tomorrow you want to make that book uh, a rec uh, like put that book into a recording uh, format you understand so you make sure that you avoid this one this class 9 make sure that you avoid this class 9 then another one for you to avoid is class 16 anything that is related to paper and printed material products you should avoid it you understand so whatever you see that is trademarked under this class just avoid especially this class 16 then the next class that you should be looking out for whenever you see a title that is trademarked on this class just avoid it this class 41 this education and entertainment services you understand so what whenever you see your titles that you want to work on trademarked under this class class 41 class 16 and class 9 now this can be optional because you might not want to make your book an audio on an audio format you understand so this can be optional so the most important is class 16 and class 41 what whenever you see your title trademark under these classes please just avoid it just look for another title profitable title and go and write about you understand so once you come to this website you set the filter to search by or then you impute your title here the next thing you want to do is click on search you understand so when you click on search you will see results that will actually pop up you see if it is trademarked or is not trademarked now if they've trademarked it before and it's no longer live you see dead and cancelled you understand but if you screw down you see if it's still trademarked or not now you see the seven habits of highly effective teens this is for teen oh. remember you are searching for people is life and it is registered the seven habit of highly effective teen and who registered it franklin covey co you understand now the seven habit of highly effective family is dead the seven habit of highly effective family is life yeah in class nine you understand the seven habit of highly effective what effective people it's trademarked you see class nine class 16 and class 41 you get so once you actually see a book you actually want to do on registered on these classes please just avoid it like this what this title now is a trademark there's not something if you go and do a book on this particular title your book will be terminated your account can be terminated also and another thing to actually look out for you know that when you actually do a search here when you do a search here there are millions of results that are actually popping up now to actually get your result fast and you know that you're actually dealing on titles that are related to books so all you just need to do is come to this refined search and put book here do you understand then search then if that title is trademarked you see it just pop up at the top now you see that the results have actually reduced to 77,610 so you can now see 
any word that is related to what you are actually looking for you understand you see that the seven habit of highly effective people is trademarked now let's check for another word like instant sports instant sports you understand for example you want to do a book on instant sports so the first thing you need to do just like i said is to come and check for trademark so remember to change this place do you see you see that instant port is trademark it is the status is live and registered instant port trademark live and registered under which class is class 16 class 21 class uh, uh, 25 class 11 and class 9 so once you see registered under class 16 which is books namely cookbooks books featuring instructions just avoid it you understand now this one class 16 class 21 class 16 is here just avoid it you understand now there i actually saw a message of someone saying like there are few words that are trademark works like quick words like easy words like adhd so one thing you need to know is that a single word cannot be trademarked a single word cannot be trademarked for example a word like quick cannot be trademarked on its own now when you actually let's search for this just take it to search by all let's see the result it will actually give to us you understand dead quick advice do you understand so a word like this cannot be trademarked on its own unless it is another word is added to it just like this quick advice is actually trademarked a word like hdhd cannot be trademarked It cannot be trademarked under books or anything like that. You understand? O only, this word can only be trademarked either a brand name. You understand? Just like if you are actually looking at this one that you are seeing live and pending. Now, they just registered this one. It has not been uh, live. If, you, if it is like fully registered, you see that it will be live and it will be registered. So, they just registered it. They have not approved it. So, but it's live. You understand you see that a word like this cannot be trademarked like under a class of like a book because hdz is a health condition you understand now you see something like this you see that is a brand name mainly for clothing top and bottoms now you see this one also that is abandoned is for hoodies wearables and garments when you keep coming down you see that it is related to like a company that is actually using it this one is clothing namely if you come down hdd sports you see sporting goods namely skateboard now if you come down and the one that is now related to class 16 that we're supposed to be watching out for is smart hd now this one is actually related to blank paper notebooks you understand so this one is related to like the health condition that you're actually talking about so a single word cannot be really trademarked you understand so you are supposed to watch out for this so this is just how to check for your trademark this is how to check for trademark so once you actually come you input your title here change the filter to search by all and you search now to actually make everything easy for you you come to this place since you're actually dealing with books and come and click on books then you click on refine search to know you understand the titles that are related to books the uh, uh, trademark that are related uh, registered on books under what you're actually searching for now you see this one that is related to books 
navigating hd hd now this one is registered under class 41 who, that we should avoid if you come under here class 41 that we should avoid if you come under class 41 class 16 class 9 that we should avoid you understand so this is literally how to actually do your trademark to make sure that you stay off of amazon problems or you stay off of any publishing company that you're actually using you stay off of you know troubles when it comes to choosing your titles so please and please i hope you actually enjoyed this video make sure you like share and subscribe to the value bank youtube channel like this video leave a comment and if you have a special request that you want to make on a video i should create just leave it on the comment section down below and as always i'm value bank and i'll be rooting for you from afar thank you god bless you